Lane number four, all hail the queen, Jessica Long and the family back at Abingdon, Maryland. Her parents, Beth and Steve, her husband, Lucas. See what she can do in her final event. She has made this walk so many times, and that is definitely game face. Yep, she's ready to leave it all in the pool. She's got a towel on the block to protect her legs. She's fast off the start, but she's really fast into the finish. There you see the world and Paralympic records. Stood since 14 and 16, respectively. Will they fall here? Already 66 world records over 10 days of competition, 130 Paralympic records. As Jessica Long looks for more, she looks for her 29th Paralympic medal in this race. Three claps and she's ready to go. It's long in lane number four. Fast off the block, but not the fastest underwater, but she's going to make up time. Ishalova now in lane number five has the early lead with the quick start. Here comes the black cap of Jessica Long. Gaining already. She oh swims my. with such ferocity. Every single stroke, you can tell how bad she wants this. Pulls even and then says goodbye. If I'm even, I'm leaving. And there goes Jessica Long on the first 50 out of lane number four. Goes right past the 16-year-old RPC athlete as she makes the turn. No one on either side of her. Jessica Long is not messing around. She is so competitive. She does not like to lose. She even wants to fold laundry faster than her husband, Lucas. And she wants to go faster than she's ever has before in this race. Back in Abingdon, Maryland, parents watching on. Jessica Jessica Long, is she going to flirt with that world record? Just off to her right, it's Ishilova. Here we go, Jessica Long looking for number 29 in the pool. The queen of the pool here in Tokyo. Just a few meters to go, and it will be Jessica Long out of Baltimore, Maryland, claiming another gold. Good job. They've seen it so many times before. 29 times has she claimed a Paralympic medal, and here she is picking up her sixth medal in Tokyo. Unbelievable. One medal for every year she's been alive. Such great sportsmanship as always. You know, for all of these other athletes swimming in the pool with Jessica Long, this is what they've thought about their whole careers. You know, there's not a Paralympic swimmer who doesn't think about what if I race Jessica Long. And you think back, she's been at this for 17 years, competing at the highest level. She debuted in Athens at the age of 12, and here she is at the young age of 29, a five-time Paralympian, now with 29 medals to her credit. And three gold medals now at these Tokyo Games. Just one gold medal, and it was hard-earned for her in Rio. So she has really put in so much work over the past five years to make this possible. And her swimming the butterfly, for this to be on the last day for her, I'm sure she was pleased with this event setup because this stroke so, comes so naturally to her. Just watch her swim. I mean, the way she uses her legs to keep her hips just toward the surface, but really drives this stroke with her arms. Unbelievable. You just see how strong she is every single stroke. At and that point, the race was pretty much over. And she knew that too, but she still wanted to go as fast as possible. She's like a metronome. She does not slow down. Credit to Ishilova, who made it a pretty good race towards the end, but just could not track down the queen, Jessica Long, now with 15 gold medals in the pool at the Paralympic Games. That look of relief when she touches first. <laughs> a lot of Team USA swimmers in the stands cheering her on tonight. And she has inspired so many other swimmers across so many other nations who have got into the sport because Jessica Long led the way. There it is, 109.87. Jessica Long now with 29 Paralympic medals, 15 of them gold as she wins the 100 fly.